What's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Edge Animate CC. In this video I'll show you guys how to use some motion pants animating a bouncing ball. First thing we're going to do is take this ellipse tool, create a circle. On the left hand side here we have an option for the gradient, we're going to select a radial gradient. It could be any color, it doesn't really matter because what we're going to do is invert it. Once you invert it, it should look like a sphere like this. I'm going to adjust the color here. So we're going to leave it like this, move it away from the stage and we're going to select motion pass on the left hand side. Next we're going to select a keyframe for location, scrub over here on the timeline, and we're going to move the ball. Right here is the motion path, you can arc it, and we're going to do it just like that. Press spacebar, and that's okay for now. Next we're going to select another keyframe for location, And this is where I want the ball to be. So that's fine. And then next, what we're going to do is select another keyframe for the width and height. And then we're going to select right over here and squeeze the ball. The reason I'm doing that is because I want the ball to look like it's bouncing on the ground. And then next, we're going to take another keyframe right here for the location. And we're just going to move the ball up. But if you remember the beginning of the timeline, the width and height was 142 by 142. So let's change that so the ball's not squeezed anymore. And then next, we're going to select another keyframe for location and bring the ball down. Now, to show you how this animation could work, I'm going to create a trigger here and I'm going to select play in reverse. In quotations, we'll call it ball. And I'm going to create a label, control L, and that label is called ball. So what's going to happen is right here, it's going to hit that label, play in reverse. I'm going to put another trigger here, select play, and it's basically just going to loop. So if I press control enter, it's going to play forward, reverse, and just keep on playing. It's moving pretty quickly because the way I have the timeline set here, all the keyframes are pretty close together. But you get the idea. And also Edge Animate has some options when you're animating to ease in and ease out the animations. There's a bunch of stuff over here. If you look at the easing linear over here, you can select this. I'm going to select an ease out. It just smooths out the animation. So if I press Control Enter, you guys can see what it looks like. See that? It just kind of smoothed out the animation from before. It looks pretty cool. So that's how you animate a bouncing ball in Adobe Edge Animate. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.